Hey, what's going on? So everyone is pretty much well aware at this point that I need to get a hoop post up before I get my chickens in a couple days. So that's what I'm working on today. First thing I need to do is, is get my old greenhouse down, the PVC one, and go from there. Okay, so that's done. That's kind of sad. Only one time in your life do you get to build your first season extension growing modality. But now that it's down, I gotta get something up. So what I'm gonna do now is start bending the poles. That didn't give me enough space, so I'm just gonna have to move this little pole bender guy real quick. I really want to do it using my little patchwork deck because eventually I'm gonna build a nicer one. The only other thing I can use is my dad's deck, but I really don't want to drill holes in that because it's, it's nice. But it's gonna be hard to find the room on this to finagle it. All right, so I think I found a winner. I mounted it to the floor of my deck and I built this little guide system. So we'll see what happens with that. All right, so it's Monday morning. All weekend I was bending poles, and but I got a bunch done. Um, the bottleneck that's really hampering my progress is driving the rebar into the soil. I knew it would be frozen. Um, I just thought it'd be easier to get the rebar through it. I thought it'd kind of break it open as it went. And it is, um, I'm using the back end of a post hole digger to kind of hammer it in, and it's getting in it's just going a lot slower than I thought. It's actually not even going slow, it's just draining me, so I'm needing more rest in between than I thought I would. So that's kind of hampering my progress a little bit. But I have the first pull up. And I'm just securing them in the middle with a three quarter inch tech self tapping screw. Seems to be working. So that's what I'm doing today. I actually called the chicken people and asked them for a couple week extension because I, I just wasn't making the progress this weekend that I thought I would. I'm lucky they were cool with it. If not, I probably would have to take my chicken tractor and, and make it into more of a permanent coop kind of a thing for a couple weeks to buy me some time, but I'm glad I don't have to do that. They were cool about it, so I have a couple weeks now to get this ready for them.
I feel a little bad because it's only about six foot, well about six and a half foot tall in the middle of the greenhouse. So my brother won't be able to stand up because he's real, real big like. So I feel a little bad. Um, some people what they do is they put fence posts, they get a little bit bigger fence post and then set the, the hoops inside of it and it gets you another foot up in the air. But those foot, those fence posts are, I wanna say about $8 a piece and the rebar is about a buck 50. That's all I'm gonna do today. Sun's starting to go down behind the trees and she gets cold pretty quickly once that happens. But I got a good start. I got four up, there's two more. I ended up deciding I'm gonna do six on this hoop house and just take one from my longer one because if that falls over in the winter, the long one, I'll just deal with it in the spring. But since I'm gonna be putting chickens in this one over winter, if that fell in the middle of the winter, it would become a problem. So I figured I'd take one from that and use it on this one just to make sure that it's, it can handle the snow load. Thank you for watching. Um, don't do anything that I wouldn't do. <laughs> Catch you next time.